for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this two of wands and it's with the nine of pentacles. Now the two of wands with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the simple, mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it also indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are filling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. Now it's with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things will be going better than you thought even possible. So enjoy this good energy, share your wealth, share your happiness with others. So basically, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, this Two of Wands clarified by this Nine of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you is that you were at a point where you felt or you wanted the connection to go to the next level. Yeah, you've, you felt, yeah, so you felt that the connection or the relationship was at a good place. Or it felt like the time was right for it to go to the next level. Things were probably going better than you thought possible. But then you knew that your person, they had two options towards the future. Because that's what the Two of Wands is about. It's about trying to make a decision. Yeah, two paths towards the future, possibly two options. So, I don't know if you can see the Two of Wands, but it's an interesting card in the deck. See, the Two of Wands is above the word pass. This man, he's sitting outside. He's got a wand on each side. Now, his back is turned to one wand, but his hand is tied to it. But he's not facing in that direction. Now the other one, he's got his ankle tied to it, and he's facing in that direction, and he's looking into the eyes of that person. So there's one direction that he's much more interested in, yeah, because the other direction, he's got his back to that one, and just a hand is tied. So you know that your person has a decision to make, but you want the you want the connection, or you felt ready for it to go to the next level. But they've got to make a decision there, because they've got their hands tied to something else. So. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the tower, and it's with the five of cups. Now, the tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, and we all know that that can be a disaster because you have to roll with changes. It could be that some people, situations that you have counted on as being there for you. <laughs> They may no longer be there in quite the same way. 
keep in mind this doesn't have to be drastic because change is actually the change is the nature of life so if we try to prevent it it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle and if you've been building some castles in the air this could actually be the time that some of them come crashing down and that's only a problem if you let it be and I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart just know that dreaming it's important but it's also important to be living in a reality now it's with the five of cups which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us so you could find yourself asking what are you going to choose to focus on the implication it will probably be extremely clear for example what are you gonna choose to focus on are you gonna cry over spilled milk or are you gonna choose to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things what I'm trying to say is that with the five of cups you have to watch where you put your focus yeah you want to make sure that the focus is for your highest good so coming up for you Capricorns this tower clarified by the five of cups so I'm getting for a lot of you yeah it looks like yeah because because your person is tied to something and you're wanting the connection to to maybe go to the next level or t or to to move along to progress but they're tied to something other than this connection and it could be keeping them from moving moving forward or having the connection go to the next level it's keeping them from doing this with you so I don't know if you guys have a big fight I don't know what happened but it looks like yes things come falling apart with this tower card yeah things come crashing down now the good thing about the tower is that ultimately you'll be enlightened by this disaster you're no longer seeing things in rose tinted glasses you see everything clearly your eyes are now wide open so you see the whole picture things come crashing down so now you're at the point where you're trying trying to decide should you focus on the positive or should you focus on the negative because there's some disappointment when you get the five of cups so that is what's coming up now let's move on over let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the challenge we got this two of pentacles and it's with the ten of swords the two of pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things multitasking it is not going to be your friend at this time so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities it could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced so be sure that you're paying attention there 
Now, Two of Pentacles is with the Ten of Swords, which is showing that it's a clear signal to be careful about where you put your trust. Because when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. Trust yourself. Trust in the universe. So your challenge, two of pinnacles clarified by this ten of swords. So yeah, like I said, you two, it looks like for a lot of you, you're going to have this tower moment. And you're trying to decide, do I focus on what's positive or do I focus on what's negative? Because you're disappointed. Yeah, you're no longer seeing this connection through rose-tinted glasses. You see the whole picture. You're no longer in fantasy veil. The person still has his hand tied to something else or someone else. So the challenge is that it looks like your person, you, you could see or you, maybe you already realize or you know that they're still going back and forth. That's what this two, two of Pentacles can be about. They're back and forth. They juggle. Yeah, they're two-timer. So, like I said, you see everything now. So, with the Ten of Swords here, you realize that you no longer trust that this connection will be stable. You don't trust that it, it's going to be a stable connection. You feel like it's a failure, you feel defeated, and you feel like it's ruined. Your person is still juggling. Yeah, they're still going back and forth between you and someone else. So, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is going to be. We got the Page of Wands and it's with the Nine of yeah, Nine of Cups, and at the bottom, it's a Page of Wands. Now, the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's actually known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. The appearance of this card, it's usually about happiness, good things to come. It can also mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's paired with the Page of Wands, which can be people who are warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person in your life, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. This card, it can indicate things that you started some time ago. They could start to come to life, start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy, but because of the energy of easy distraction the page has, you're going to have to supply the follow through. Page of Wands, um, this person, you hear the word page in the 
marked in the tarot that could indicate someone is younger than you. It could indicate youth, immaturity, a student. And it also indicates that there's some type of message coming in. Messages of love, affection. So your outcome, Capricorns, Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. So like, like I said, your eyes are wide open. Yeah, you see everything for what it is and you're accepting the reality. Um, you no longer trust that this connection is stable. Now, you got this page of wands here. It could be someone that that's on your mind. This person this person wow with the nine of cups. This person could be a wish come true. You could be reaching out to them with messages of love. But then I'm getting for some of you, this person is reaching out to you with messages of love. Yeah, this person is very, very excited about you. Yeah, they got a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. This person sees you as their wish come true. Yeah. This person feels very blessed and satisfied to know you, to have you. There's a lot of passion here because with the Nine of Cups, it's about having a very strong desire. And the, the Page of Wands is about passion. Yeah, so somebody, somebody's got you on their mind. Yeah, somebody who sees you as a wish come true, Capricorn. So you can expect a text, a phone call. Somebody will be messaging you on your Facebook. Um, yeah, this person really, really likes you. I don't know who this is, but this person could be younger than you. Very, very excited about you. Yeah, they see you as a wish come true. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, Thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Do keep in mind, for this reading, the roles can be switched. You could be them, and they could be you. If you're not dealing with a love interest, your person could actually be a friend. It could be a family member or a situation. So keep an open mind with these readings and take it for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they are not personal readings. So Capricorns, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. You have a great day. You have a great day.